Man, could this be Diddy starting the snitch on them already? I mean, darn, guys, Democrats are just falling one by one. So the latest news, New York City Mayor Eric Adams, who was just charged with bribery and wire fraud. Details right here with the crowd heckling him at his press conference. This is not a black gang. Your policies are anti-black. You are a disgrace to all black people in this city. My day-to-day -day will not change. I will continue to do the job for 8.3 million New Yorkers that I was elected to do. Amen. And I look forward to defending myself and defending the people of this city. We should ask those who are conducting this investigation, we should ask them who gave the directive to carry out what we have witnessed over the last 10 months. Over the last 10 months, you knew information before my attorneys knew information over the last 10 months. You, you, you reported that there was an indictment before my attorneys knew that there was an indictment. Over the last 10 months, this has happened over and over again, and this is not how our system of justice should operate. Adam solicited and accepted over $100,000 in luxury travel benefits for years from wealthy Turkish business people and at least one Turkish government official seeking to gain influence over him. Adam started accepting undisclosed luxury travel benefits at least as early as 2016. He took these benefits nearly every year through 2021. The indictment on seal today alleges that Mayor Adams abused his power and position for nearly a decade as Brooklyn Borough President and as mayor to enrich himself and his mayoral campaigns. As charged, he sought and received illegal campaign contributions, luxury travel, and other personal benefits from foreign nationals, as well as individuals and businesses. He allegedly took steps to conceal those illegal contributions and personal benefits, and involved city employees and campaign staff in that concealment. The Southern District of New York remains committed to rooting out corruption without fear or favor and without regard to partisan politics. Now I'm telling you guys, things are starting to get so wild in this run up to the election. I mean, they say that this indictment of New York City Mayor Eric Adams is without regard to partisan politics. But wasn't it him who was totally okay to see Donald Trump go to jail? My, 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 how the tables have turned, my friend. And then again, many are questioning the timing of Adams' indictment. New York City Councilman Joe Borelli, he thinks it's not a coincidence given how the mayor has been criticized and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris lately. Fox News alert. He's the first city, New York City mayor, to face criminal charges. And Mayor Eric Adams says it's all payback for calling out the Biden Harris border failures. Watch. I have been fighting injustice my entire life. That fight has continued as your mayor. Despite our pleas, when the federal government did nothing as its broken immigration policies overloaded our shelter system with no relief. I have been facing these lies for months since I began to speak out for all of you. Joining us now to react, New York City GOP Councilman Joe Borelli. Uh, Joe, thanks so much for joining the program. Uh, hopefully you can give us some insight. Look, I don't know if he's innocent or guilty. I just find the timing uh, a little coincidental, and I don't believe in co co uh, coincidences and politics. He was a co-chair of the campaign for Biden and Harris. And all of a sudden, when he starts to criticize them on their migrant crisis, he gets an investigation. Why is that? No, and certainly four years ago or so, uh, I would have never questioned the impartiality of the DOJ. But but that question uh, doesn't exist only when it's someone uh, I happen to support uh, is, is a target of that investigation. And there's a lot of things with this case that just might be a hair too cute. And again, he might be completely guilty, but it is a little bit too cute that the police commissioner was hired a, a week later. His home gets raided for, for documents. Right. For documents from 20 years ago, Lawrence. Uh, and it's not a coincidence that they raided this campaign staffer's home the day he was going to the White House to tell Joe Biden uh, to end the migrant crisis. So this might just be a, a coincidence, but uh, I don't believe in coincidences. Joe Adams has been calling out the Biden-Harris administration and their policies on migrants. And now this former President Donald Trump, he even compared it to his own lawsuit in New York City as well. Check this out. I noticed the indictment's very old. It goes back a long time. 
Well, I had the same thing. They got they went way before the statute of limitations. So I wish him well, but I, I said that he will be indicted because he did that. You take a look. That's what they do. These are dirty players. These are bad people. They cheat and they uh, do anything necessary. These are bad people. And we need an honest Justice Department. We need an honest FBI. And we need it fast. Now, I guess this just kind of goes to show how it's never a wise decision to bet against Donald Trump. You know what I mean? Now, after this, they could very well be going after the corrupt judges next. We really should have seen the signs. I mean, it was Mayor Eric Adams who gave Diddy a key to New York City. Lo and behold, they're now both charged with crimes this month. During a ceremony in Times Square, Adams handed Diddy the key, which is supposed to be a symbol of recognition for New Yorkers who have achieved remarkable success. Eric Adams also proclaimed the day Diddy Day. And this was last year, guys. But after the growing controversy around Diddy, Eric Adams requested that he return the key, especially since last week Diddy was arrested and indicted on multiple charges of trafficking and racketeering. Well, Adams is now also in a legal hot seat. In an indictment unsealed just a few days ago, federal prosecutors accused the mayor of years-long public corruption. Prosecutors are saying that Adams solicited bribes from foreign nationals to support his political campaigns and even his personal travel. The indictment states that over roughly 10 years, he accepted various gifts such as complimentary or discounted Turkish airline flights, vacations at luxury hotels, yacht trips. Wow, this guy was balling out of control, likely on city payers dime. All of this is allegedly though. Now sure enough, social media users on X are also speculating whether Sean Diddy Combs and Adams knew each other socially or actually partied together. Perhaps Eric Adams was also involved in the white parties, maybe even the freak offs. Now, Sean Diddy Combs was known for throwing the annual glitzy white parties in the Hamptons. Adams, who nicknamed himself the nightlife mayor, is also seen frequenting late night hotspots and flashy members only clubs. Coincidence? I'm gonna let y'all decide on that one. But guys, Guys, we're just getting started into this whole takedown of New York City Mayor Eric Adams. So guys, definitely stick around with me. But if you are appreciating the video so far and the information, do not hesitate to show your support. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more hard hitting content like this delivered straight to your phone, to your TV, to your laptop, tablet, whatever, whatever. All right, so giving his own hot take on Eric Adams indictment is Andrew Yang, former presidential candidate who's best known for his proposal to give Americans $1,000 a month. Now, he lost Adams in the, or he lost two Adams in the mayoral election, but he did provide some very helpful insights about this man. As he said in 2021, at a mayoral debate against uh, Eric Adams, Eric, we all know that you have been investigated for corruption wherever or everywhere you've gone, city, state, and federal. You've achieved the rare trifecta of corruption investigations. Is that really what we want in the next mayor? Now, if you enter city hall, it's going to be exactly the same. Yang mentioned how he had a national network and wound up getting the highest numbers of individual donors, 21,960 in the history of New York City elections. But at every turn, he said, Adam just kept pace. How is that? As Andrew Yang described the New York City mayor, this is somebody who has managed to run afoul of the rules at every step of the political ladder. Even the union he once belonged to, the police captain's union, uh, they had chosen not to endorse him. And when Eric Adams won, Andrew Yang said this in private. This is what he said behind closed doors. When you put someone undisciplined and unprincipled in charge of a lot of people and resources, bad things generally happen. He explained that Eric had a habit of hiring close friends, associates, associates and confidants for important roles that may or may not match up with their capabilities, capacities, or qualifications. He thought it was quite likely that his administration would be dodged or dogged by corruption, cronyism, and self-dealing. And what do we see? We see a police commissioner, school chancellor, chief lawyer, and the head of the Department of Health all resigning. Numerous associates under a cloud of federal investigation and confiscated personal devices. And now this historic indictment. So. Here's Andrew Yang's hot take on the whole Adams indictment. He liked fancy lights in hotels and allegedly he took them. He was a, let's just say, he saw a shortcut to raise money from his friends with foreign passports and allegedly took that too. This wasn't a very sophisticated operation. Instead, it's the only story of a local politician who was supposed to or was used to favor uh, trading who didn't realize that some of these things might speed his downfall when he got a bigger job and a bigger spotlight. 
And uh, for the former presidential candidate, Eric Adams' story is a sad one of a police officer turned local official, turned mayor, and now federal defendant. Bottom line for Yang, Eric Adams' political career, it's ending and it's time for the city to move on. Me? I just want to kind of zoom out just a little bit because it start, I'm starting to see a pattern here of corruption charges against a lot of these Democrats. And it was just a few months ago that New Jersey uh, Senator Bob Menendez resigned from the Senate after a jury convicted him on a federal bribery charge, or actually multiple federal bribery charges. More specifically, Menendez was convicted on charges that he used his influence to meddle in three different state and federal criminal investigations to protect the businessman. Now, prosecutors said that he helped one uh, bribe high paying friend essentially uh, get a multi-million dollar deal with a Qatari investment fund and another keep a contract to provide religious certification for meat bound for Egypt. Now, he was also convicted of taking actions that benefited Egypt's government in exchange for bribes, including uh, providing details on personnel at the U.S. Embassy in Cairo and ghostwriting a letter to former senators regarding lifting a hold on military aid to Egypt. FBI agents also said that they found stacks of gold bars and $480,000 hidden in Menendez's house. Man, I I gotta say guys, looking at Adams just kind of got, I, I, I just think it looks like from the outside at least that Eric Adams got stiffed by the Turkish government. That's what it looks like. Basically all he got were vacations. Meanwhile, Menendez, he got gold bars and I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Forget the, the free trips, the free airline tickets. Menendez got a half a million dollars. But another notorious Democrat is the so-called Dalton dictator, none other than Mayor Tiffany Henyard. She was elected back in 2021 and has faced mounting allegations of malfeasance in office, including misuse of taxpayer funds. Just one example here, the Tiffany A. Henyard Cares Foundation and the mayor denies it's hers. So the foundation, which says it supports cancer patients, was given a $10,000 donation from the town board back in September 2022. The same day, it was chartered with the state. A month later, Henyard organized a 10-day walk and bike ride across the state uh, uh, to to Springfield in the name of her foundation, but charged most of the trip to the Dalton credit card, totaling $11,000 in hotels, restaurants, photographers, DJs, and supplies. They're still investigating the matter and have yet to file any charges, but already Dalton Deputy Police Chief Lewis Lacey, a very close ally to Henyard, was charged with a nine count indictment for bankruptcy fraud and other charges. And now this from Mayor Eric Adams. What's going on with these Democrats here, guys? Prosecutors basically saying that he conspired with foreign officials to receive massive illegal campaign contributions, including ones from foreign nationals, from foreign governments, and from straw contribution uh, contributors who were reimbursed from foreign sources. Now, this enabled Eric Adams to obtain huge piles of money under New York City's matching program, where donations from city residents were matched eight to one, up to $250. So this means that if somebody donated $250, your campaign received $250 from them and then another $2,000 from the city because it's a one, it's an eight to one match. So Yang gave this example. If somebody ran a small company in New York City with 12 employees, the temptation to say, hey, uh, we're going to say each of you donated $250 and that's going to get $24,000 for our candidate. You see where I'm going with this? Okay. Now, if if you were the head of this small company, you would put it you would put up the money for your employees and let's just say three thousand, and then the candidate will walk away with twenty seven thousand dollars, most of which was from taxpayers. This looks like fraud on the highest level, guys. Uh, perhaps money laundering. The list could go on and on. Now imagine that on a much bigger scale for Eric Adams. These illegal contributions, partially funded by his 2021 mayoral run and have, according to the indictment, continued in uh, anticipation of Adams' re-election bid. Needless to say, direct foreign interference in American elections is, of course, something that the government takes much more seriously than upgrades from economy class, and as it should. And like Democrats are so fond of accusing Donald Trump of, this particular case is also, it's about a direct assault on basic principles of democracy and sovereignty. I mean, you got to ask, right? What were the Turkish officials and business executives allegedly involved in the bribery scheme up to, right? Like, why did they invest the money and energy to in cozying up to Adams, even when he was only like the Brooklyn Borough president? You know what I'm saying? He's just a mayor. It's a, it seems largely like a ceremonial role, if anything. 
Well, there was the time that the Turkish consulate in New York City was desperate to obtain city approval to open a swank new diplomatic building in time for a visit by Turkish president and dictator Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Now, Eric Adams was still mayor in waiting back then, but that didn't stop him from contacting repeatedly the fire commissioner who was lobbying to keep his job in the new uh, new administration, emphasizing that he was loyal and trustworthy. You know what happened next, right? As the council general basically wrote to Adams, you are a true friend of Turkey, complete with thank you hands emoji. Now, as they explained it in Washington's post, on one side of the transaction, public safety officials were dissuaded from doing their jobs out of fear of losing their jobs. Now, on the other side, Turkish officials who desperately wanted to please the country's autocratic president, they got the response that they needed. Their investment paid off. And we're not, I mean, we're talking about somebody on the mayor level. Now, just imagine what kind of people could be investing in, I don't know, presidential candidates, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. I'm just saying, guys, definitely something to look into for the next one. But just make sure you guys are always subscribed to the channel. Make sure your notification bell's turned on so you don't miss out on any future updates from this channel. All right. We're already working on the next one, guys. But you can check out our other videos in the meantime. We just released a video where we looked at post debate polls. And we found that it's actually former President Donald Trump who won that ABC debate. Hmm. Sounds more like Democratic corruption to me, guys. Definitely a must watch after this one. So, guys, let me go ahead and uh, I'll leave a link for you guys down in the description down below this video. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time.